we're, we're so thirsty for some goddamn Freddy Krueger that any just any ready to suck up a guy on an underpass for yeah. it. Shit. With Halloween on the forefront, with slashers coming back, with everybody loving 80s, with horror doing all of it's doing, no fucking news on Night Street. Or Night Street. On Night Street. <laughs> We'd rather focus on the Conjuring franchise right now instead of uh, taking Freddy out of the fucking basement, out of the goddamn boiler room. Instead of like you fucking should. concentrating on your herpes, just get some Valtrex prescriptions and get, to, get to back to what works. And it hurts. Now you're talking personal stuff. I like Conjuring. There's a little bit of drama around this. It's kind of weird, but uh, the website, we got this covered. The drama on the internet? You're out of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> we got this covered, which is a site that I've heard of, you've heard of. Like, you know, they're, we watched a movie. They're, they're, <laughs> you know, they're, they're, they're pretty big sites. So they come out with this story, and they say that they have a source that, say, that says Alexander Aha, director of High Tension, director of the, the Hills Have Eyes remake. Uh, uh, also singer of Take On Me. Take on me. I Take on me. Gone. The news is, the, the rumored news is, is that they actually are moving forward on it mm -hmm. and they are looking at Alexander Aha to possibly direct it. I'm down with that. Now that was the news that we, we got this covered reported. Uh, they're also looking at other directors, but he's one of the guys they're looking at and it's happening. They're still planning on doing it. But right after that, Brad Miska, who is the editor at Bloody Disgusting, tweeted out this, he tweeted out the story that they did, and he said, this is not true. Nothing to see here. Where, where am I? On the internet. He could have easily talked to someone who was like, absolutely not. We're not even talking about doing that right now. And he's just trying to say, hey, this is why we're not covering that. Yeah. And it makes sense. I don't know if that's the case. We have no fucking idea. We're just some dudes who do a YouTube channel. But we're on YouTube? That's the story so far. <laughs> I thought we were just talking. We're in Aurora filming oh, Wayne's World. But Cinepop did an interview with Alexander Aha, and they actually asked him about, hey, what other, you did, you know, Hills Have Eyes. What other Wes Craven franchise would you want to reboot? Would Scream. you want to do a Scream? And he actually kind of like dismayed that. He was like, I, I really wouldn't of want to. Of course he did. But Why he was like, this is exactly what he said. He said, A Nightmare on Elm Street would be amazing. One of my most traumatic experiences as a kid was watching A Nightmare on Elm Street, and I would love to kind of explore. Uh, this is a great world to explore. And I so that adds that. fuel to yeah. the fire. I, I was, like, for for me as a kid, that was, like, I love, you know, Halloween and Michael Myers is, is our go-to. Like, it's our fucking heroin. It's our crack. We need it to fucking live, okay? Hey man, we're gonna be late to work because we need our crack. Fucking man, you face. got some of them pumpkin seeds. I will suck a dude's dick for that. It goes without saying that it, it, like it holds a special place in your heart and fart forever. And the fact that he is the one that is saying a Nightmare on Elm Street would be amazing, and I would love to explore that world, especially what what he's done as far as what his repertoire of films are. He's the perfect guy. I feel personally that could take this film and move it forward into the future. Uh, in the same grace and, and, and the same uh, flair that they did with Halloween. Yeah. I would love to see yeah. him do that. I think that's a great idea. Like I said, hi, uh, the, the movie he directed, High Tension, was, was a fantastic slasher movie. It had some deep, dark, fucked up a stuff. A good twist, it. too. His remake of The Hills Have Eyes was depraved and twisted as fuck. Hills Have Eyes was like the, when, you, when you had to check to make sure you have enough Dove soap. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta like, shower and like, yeah, you're like, damn, I, I better have a fucking whole thing of per plus. But he's done enough fucked up and depraved shit that, that was really dark at the time, but after he does it, you go, I'm interested in anything this guy does, because I know he has the balls to do some some crazy shit. Yeah. So when you mention him and, and the idea of doing, and by the way, that was Hills Have Eyes is a Wes Craven film, mm -hmm. so him rebooting another Wes Craven film. I feel like he has a lot of respect for it. So. Right, would make sense. So the, just his name being attached to it is a great fucking idea and I love that idea and I'd be 100% on board with it. We've always talked about that, like how do you make him fucking like disgusting and scary and I feel like this guy and his vision and the way that he he did crawl and he's done high tension and things like that it would be like you would leave the theater be like I still like Freddy Krueger but goddamn, I don't know if I should have him as a keychain. Just give him the fucking job, goddammit. Look at what they did in 2010. Look at what they did with Samuel Bear. They took a guy who directed Blink-182 to stay together for the kids' music video. And this was kind of Platinum Dunes' model. Mm -hmm. What they would do is they, they they took, you know, they took the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, they took Nightmare on Elm Street, they took Friday the 13th, and, and they would give it to these directors. Uh, in the case of Nightmare on Elm Street, it was a, a music video director. Mm -hmm. And they gave him a chance with it. And, and, and there, you know, the movie wasn't good. The movie had a million problems with it, but it did good at the box office. Yeah. The same thing with Friday the 13th. Everybody expected a sequel because they did good at the box office. And nothing happened with either of those films. The, <laughs> it's like a flock of seagulls flew over and nothing happened. <laughs> like the 1980s it in was, a nutshell. Uh, it was fucking crazy, dude. It's like when you have to poop but nothing comes out. It was like you know, it, 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 it should have happened 
happened, it could have happened. They could have started their own Blumhouse situation <laughs> right there and just fucking yeah. crank these things out. Because as much as people want to shit on Michael Bay, and I understand why, but as he much did a good job with shit on fucking Friday the Thirteenth, man. And Texas Chainsaw Massacre. They did great. That remake was I good. Love that shit. The Nightmare on Elm Street movie sucked, but it had certain and elements Jessica Biel that you could have continued and a off. <laughs> but the whoa, <laughs> them Jordach. God damn, you know she uh, shops the fucking gap. <laughs> but it's insane that they're not doing something with this property. But this guy, I, I just feel like I feel like this guy comes out of left field so dramatically, and I feel like he's got the right take on horror that he could do a phenomenal job. Like you look at these horror icons and you're like, how do you make Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees scary again? Because their 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 faces are known, mm -hmm. the things they do is known. They're on fucking Nabisco cookies. You know, they're not. Oh, they are. They're, they're such pop culture icons. It that tastes not, like a nightmare. They're not. They're, <laughs> not, they're not scary anymore. But. But Freddy Krueger, I, I get what you're saying about the whole pedophile thing, because you don't want to go to that place. I was like, yeah, it's I, nasty, I don't love that. But, but you have to. He's he's the guy yeah. that that is so nasty. Like his origin, his true depth and origin is so nasty. That he's the number one choice that I think you could take that character and you could put a new spin on it, and you could go some places other people haven't been. Mm -hmm. And he's the number one guy you could really truly actually make a frightening fucking like scary I'm gonna sleep with the lights on tonight and horror film with more so than the other slashes yeah. and stuff like that and to get a guy who did high tension to get the guy who who made Hills Have Eyes the remake so fucked up is the perfect fucking choice and I know so I, hope it's I know we're sucking his dick all over the place and but you know he, he really he's is not good, perfect he's a really a no, uh, he, he's a great choice ah! So comment down below. What do you guys think? Do you think that's a good idea? Would you like to see that happen? Do you think it's true? How do you feel? Do I'm not in my head. Yes, in the and night you say yes, in your panties when they get crunched up in your butt. <laughs> do you pull them out or just leave them in? There? <laughs> Go leave with them the in flow. there. We just love you. Have a good time. Fucking faces. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button. Get some goddamn whammo. See what it feels like on your gooch. I feel like that Alexander guy like heard that fucking rumor and he was like, oh goddamn, I gotta get on the internet right away. I'm like, fuck yeah, I want to do it. <laughs> Wait.